Hi everyone, well, I'm pretty down today. So with what happened to me on my last trip on the Celebrity Edge, I decided to dot my I's and cross my T's to make sure getting back is going to be smooth. So I was on the phone all day yesterday, and I mean all day, because it's uh, like a two hour hold right now when you're calling Carnival Cruise Lines. I'm supposed to leave next Friday and fly down to Orlando and get on the Mardi Gras. I'm all set to join my friends. There's lots of people that I know on the ship. Looking really forward to it, a brand new cruise ship. Can't wait. And when I made this booking, I double checked with the agent when I was booking and I said, so, you know, for my flight back, are you testing on board? Yes, we are. We are testing for your flights until the end of August. Great. Made my booking. Well, yesterday when I called, they said, well, this is our latest release. If you are fully vaccinated, they are not providing you with a test getting off the ship. I said, well, can I buy a test so I can fly home? No. They are not providing any vaccinated guest a test getting off the ship. Well, that threw an entire monkey wrench into my travels because my flight was at 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm already an hour away from the airport, from the terminal, which means if I get off the ship at, say, early as 7 o'clock in the morning, get through customs and get out to the airport, it would already be close to 10 o'clock, and I would have to somehow come up with a magic test, and you need a PCR test, not a quick test. So no, that, that's out of the question. So I tried calling uh, my Air Canada and because I had booked Air Canada, I have, uh, I, I booked the, the tickets that I can change my times and everything. Well, that's great, that's fine. And I booked during a seat sale using my points. Well, tickets have gone skyrocketing since I bought those tickets. And for me to change my time and my air tickets, I would have to take a flight, not Saturday, not Sunday, all the way till Wednesday. Well, grant you, that would give me enough time to get a, a PCR test, no problem. But that means Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I have to spend four extra nights in a hotel. And say on average it's $200, there's another $800 I have to spend on hotels. All right, I would probably still do that, but then I got into the next mess. The flight tickets have gone up. Well, the flight tickets have gone up, okay, well, how, how much have they gone up? They've gone up $1,000. So if I want to book that flight on Wednesday to get home, I have to spend another thousand dollars. Oh, and by the way, the flight doesn't leave from Orlando. If I wanted to leave from Orlando, it was another two or three connections to get back to Canada. Something like an 18 hour flight for a three hour flight. I actually would have had to take the train from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale to get the plane there. So now not only am I spending an extra thousand dollars <laughs> on my pl flights, I'm spending eight hundred dollars more on the hotels, I am spending another hundred dollars on the train. It just kept adding up and adding up and adding up and to the point where I have to work during this time. I also have a job. So it just became uh, too big of a mess to do. And I do not know why Carnival is not providing tests. I don't care if you charge me or not. I still need to fly home. So basically you're telling all Canadians right now that you're on your own when you're getting off the plane. 
uh, you're gonna have to spend more money and more time uh, to, to take our cruises because I double checked. Princess Cruise Line, which I'm on out of Seattle in September, they are testing. I double checked, it's right there in writing. They will be testing me for my flights. Royal Caribbean, doing the same thing. Celebrity Cruise Line, doing the same thing. Norwegian Cruise Line was doing the same thing. So right now it's Carnival. And I, I, I don't know why they've gone this route. I don't know. I have. I don't know why they just wouldn't charge us. Here, here, charge us a hundred dollars. Fine, I'll pay a hundred dollars so I can make my flights on time, and I don't end up spending an extra eight hundred dollars in hotels trying to find a test when I get off your ship. That's going to really limit any kind of travel for Canadians right now. And as a travel agent right now, I would recommend Canadians find another cruise line other than Carnival right now, because it's just too much of a hassle to try and find testing when you're getting off the ship in time for flights, unless you have time to spend in Florida, unless you have time to visit or someone you can stay at or a residence where you're staying half and half for the year. This is really disappointing to me. I was so looking forward to this trip, brand new ship, biggest in their fleet, and because of their own policies, I canceled my cruise. Now I will say one thing, I was able to cancel and get a full refund. I didn't have to take future cruise credits, I didn't have to do any of that. I was able to get a full refund, so that at least is a very good policy. The policy on not testing, quite frankly to me, is absolutely dumb. It's a very dumb business decision. Uh, unless you think only Americans are ever going to go on your cruise during the pandemic. Because right now, there's a lot of Canadians with pent-up demand and Europeans, etc. And uh, right now, it becomes a complete inconvenience to choose Carnival as a cruise line. And I'm so, so disappointed.